Good morning. I'm delighted for the chance to wish you all a happy Lunar New Year. It's my understanding that this is the ear of the ox. And that strikes me as a good thing, given the characteristics of oxen, that they are dependable, they are hardworking, they are humble, and those strike me as excellent qualities, uh, given the pandemic that we are facing. I hope this new year brings you excellent health, many worthy opportunities, and much prosperity. So here we go. Happy Year of the Ox. Happy Lunar New Year. I want to wish all Millbrook students a Happy Lunar New Year. The Downs family children have something to say to you. Go take that joy! Ni hao. This is Grover here. Just want to wish everyone a Happy Lunar New Year. To our students who are not celebrating on campus this year, I hope you get some extra time at home with some family and friends, some delicious meals. But to everybody, I wish you a year filled with good luck, family, and lots of friends. Ni hao. Happy Lunar New Year, everybody. Um, in my brief research on Lunar New Year, it tells me that this is the year of the ox, and it denotes hard work, positivity, honesty, calm, patience, and trust. And so here is to a year of all of those wonderful things, things that have challenged us all this year, um, and to continuing um, and to seeing everybody here in person soon. Happy New Year. Feliz Año Nuevo Lunar. Have a wonderful, happy Lunar New Year. Ni hao. I would like to wish you Xin Yin Kuai Le to you and your families. May the new year bring you um, good, good health, good luck, fond memories with your family and friends, and an abundance of smiles and laughter. We miss you. 大家好, this is Guo Lao Shi, the Mandarin teacher at Millbrook School. My hometown is Hubei, China. No matter where you are right now, wishing you and your family a very happy Lunar New Year, and may new, your new year be filled with blessings, love, happiness, and prosperity. 祝大家农历新年快乐,身体健康,阖家欢乐,心想事成,笑口常开,牛年大吉! Hi, this is Tracy Guo from Shenzhen, Guangdong, China. My city is in the southeast part of China, 30 minutes away from Hong Kong. This year, each neighborhood in my city sets up their own flower fairs. And here's my neighborhood's flower fair. Different flowers symbolize different things in Chinese culture. There are flowers and plants symbolizing fortune and luck and money. And almost every Chinese family would purchase a plant or flower in hopes of good fortune and luck for the families in the upcoming year. And now let me walk you through it. Here's the Narcissus. It represents luck and beauty. It's very important to the Lunar New Year. Here's the Kungfa. The Kungfa represents good fortune and luck in Chinese culture. Its Chinese name, Jingzhu, is very similar to its Chinese blessing, Xiang Yi meaning good fortune and luck in the upcoming year. That's the reason why my, many Chinese families buy it for the Lunar New Year. Hey everyone, I am here Wang from Shanghai, China. So my hometown, Shanghai. Just like everywhere else in China, we just wear everything red, like red hoodies, red sweatshirts, uh, red whatever, red jackets, red... Yeah, just everything red because red, the color red represents good luck. And for me, my family, we have those. These are mini ones. These are called Chunlian, also known as Duilian. So um, we stick those onto the doors and they symbolize good luck. Like we wish to get wealthier, healthier, like we get good luck in the upcoming year. So we just put down the door. Um, yeah, also, uh, my family just meet with each other, like all my family members, and have dinner together um, during Chinese New Year, and uh, nothing special. Um, I wish all of you guys a happy Chinese New Year, and Feliz Un Año Nuevo, Xin Yang Kuala, and also in Shanghainese, Xin Yang Kuala. Thank you. 
Um, hi everyone. So I wish everyone a happy Chinese New Year. And I'm inside my egg blue right now in Lily's jacket. Uh, this year the vibe isn't super strong on campus, but we hope we can save this with these videos. Um, just to see everybody's lovely faces. Like what we used to do, or what I used to do in my own household. Um, New Year is about just gathering together. Mm, tricky this year. Um, sometimes for me, I go back to my hometown and just get all my lucky money <laughs> from all the relatives and um, get to meet my grandparents on my dad's side. Um, because we live so far away, so that is something that's really special for the new year. And um, I wish I precious that more, a little bit more in the past years. Hi, I'm Mary from China. Um, 新年快乐,恭喜发财! I'm Lucy, I'm currently in Beijing right now, and we celebrate new Lunar New Year in different ways. So first way is to wear red clothes. Red in Chinese culture symbolizes luck. So when you wear it on the day of Lunar New Year, it means that you're going to have luck in the next coming year. The second is the red packet. So it usually comes with money and usually the elders give it to the younger kids. And third thing is these things that you will usually stick it on the door and it means that you're going to have luck in an upcoming year. So there are also a lot of other ways to celebrate Chinese, uh, Lunar New Year. For example, there is Temple Fair, which is usually held in the parks. And you can go, you can buy different traditional Chinese food. But due to the epidemic this year, they don't have it. The second one is to the gala. You watch gala uh, every year on the day of Lunar New Year. And it's really fun and it's my favorite thing to do. Um, Happy New Year! New York, Hello, this is um, Johnny Zhang a new freshman like I'm, I'm giving greetings to everyone that's on campus so um, like during Chinese New Year the moral is to abandon the past and then embrace the future and then um, also during Chinese New Year um, everyone will be having sp spring rolls and sweet dumplings oh also um, normal dumplings for meal and then also um, at last I, I just want to say 大家新年快乐 新年快乐,恭喜发开,身体健康,牛年,大吉,万事如是,再见。你好,我叫Sophie,千年快乐,恭喜发开,身体健康,牛年大吉。你好,我名字Kyle Hi, this is Tracy from Shanghai, China, and I'm a freshman in Clark. So in our family, we would usually make baba rice together, which is a cuisine in China. It is made of sticky rice, red dates, and sweetened bean paste. So normally, we would work until midnight and then go to sleep. In addition, we would have big dinners with our family members and give each other blessings. And the children would receive red pockets from the elders. In addition, this is a Chinese character that I do. Um, its English meaning is Fu, and it means luck. So, hi, I'm Anya. I'm a fifth former. Hi, I'm Thomas. I'm a fourth former. So, we're both from Hong Kong, and this year, in Chinese New Year is 2021, it's the Ox Year. And in Hong Kong, people mark the occasion with a unique fusion of modern, fun, and ancient customs. The three days comprising of night parade, spectacular fireworks, and a horse racing often make it the top of World Festival events list. And you can also spend your night at Disneyland, the peak, or watch the fireworks off of Victoria Harbor. Uh, and then on Chinese New Year, there's famous foods. Mostly in Hong Kong, it's a skin-rich meat filling, as well as their soup made of chicken, duck, 
and pork, simmered for a long time. This taste texture is very smooth and quiet, quite oily, and more Hong Kong style version would be cooked without peppers and instead pieces of salted fish. Hi, my name is Anna Fan and I'm a second year sophomore. Uh, during Lunar New Year, in Vietnamese tradition, we usually visit our grandparents or relatives. Um, Hi all, I'm Gail Zhang. I'm a three-year fifth boomer, and my hometown is Beijing, China. Uh, in my hometown, our tradition during New Year is serving a good meal, and fish is important to the meal because it has a good metaphor. Uh, wish you guys Happy New Year. Sinanquilo,寿比南山,福龙,自自满堂。你好,我叫凯雷,就大家新年快乐,到这江康,玩的开心,再见。你好,我名字是空姐师,我是中文儿,祝大家新年快乐,健康年,再见。你好,我的名